Hello everyone, it's me Ryan from the videos. Yay! Let's go over gastric port suctioning. We're going to do the physical skill of it. We're going to review some eye gels and King LTs because some surfaces in our catchment area have King LTs. So the eye gel is a very good superglottic airway device and now we can suction the gastric port which is here. Fun! So of course it's different between PCPs and ACPs because there's a difference between the depths of insertion. ACPs can go directly into the stomach to get rid of air and gastric secretions. The rationale for that is because of the Schedule 3 Acts. The Schedule 3 Acts only specify that ACPs and CCPs can go directly into the stomach, while PCPs can only go 2 to 5 centimeters beyond the end of the eye gel. So we'll look to see how you measure each. So every eye gel comes in a package with a cradle. This is what the cradle looks like. It's not an airway introducer, quite surprisingly. Don't ask me why I'm saying that. So this is the NG tubes that we're recommending the services get because again, this is long enough to actually reach the stomach. So what you do is for the PCP length, you measure the cradle that corresponds to the eye gel you're inserting. And once you do that, you add two to five centimeters beyond that. So of course, if you didn't mark your spot, you'd forget while inserting how far to go. So it's recommended to put pink tape. Then afterwards, you get your lubricant agent and you give a small bolus of lube to the actual gastric port. Then you take your catheter and you prime it multiple times. Then you insert it to you reach your depth. Afterwards, you secure it to its correct depth because you physically don't have to move the suction catheter up and down like you would for deep suctioning. Now it's in the correct spot. So when you look at the NG tubes, this is actually how you facilitate suctioning. So this comes with a double lumen catheter and it goes into this hole here. It's recommended to keep this part of the tubing open because that can actually get rid of gastric secretions in air. So this is why PPE is so essential because you don't want a face full of gastric secretions. And imagine you're extricating and this tubing actually becomes lower than the patient. Gastric secretions can actually pour in, out of it if it is indeed in the stomach and everything. Or just naturally, if this gets lowered in the call, that can happen. So if you're going to extricate the patient, it's recommended to put this on the other end of it to make it sterile. And again, the gastric secretions won't happen. But otherwise, you take the other side of the double lumen and you put it into the actual yanker tubing. And then you just turn on your suction as needed. So you can even start suction if you have a change in compliance. So imagine your ventilating is good, it's sufficient, first of all, then it changes. If you confirm it hasn't been displaced, you can turn this on because maybe there's gastric secretions or just secretions down there obstructing your ventilations or just overall the gastric port. So you can turn it on. Again, the pressures correspond to the other suction pressures that we have. 100 to 150 for adults, 100 to 120 for children, and 60 to 100 for infants. But we should always start with the smaller pressures to overall mitigate any trauma. It's a relatively benign procedure, but again, we want to mitigate any trauma. We can only suction for 15 seconds if nothing comes back. But if stuff keeps pouring out while you're suctioning, you can keep it on until it's gone. You can do that because again, you can still oxygenate them while this procedure is going on. And if you wanted to actually perform some suctioning by the other port, you can put your deep suction catheters on and you can facilitate it, but you need two different suction canisters or just switch in between. And again, keep the gastric port sterile if you need to do this. You can do that. So the ACB length is a little different. You go to their actual umbilicus or epigastrum. So you take the end and go to their ear, but you're not done yet. You go one more step to the end of the eye gel and that's where you mark it with pink tape. Because again, that's long enough to go directly into the stomach. And again, you insert it till you meet your depth. And again, that corresponds directly to your pressures when you have to put on because the risk if you have a large accumulation of air in their stomach they're prone to aspiration and if you aspirate especially in a cardiac arrest and you ROS your mortality and morbidity just goes through the roof it's basically a death sentence that's why the ACPs are trying to get rid of air and gastric secretions because that is obstructing your ventilations and overall oxygenation All right, now we'll review King LTs for the services that have them. 
Yes, I did change my shirt in between these two videos. Yes, I did get a haircut. Don't worry about that. It took many parts to film. So King LTs, some of them have gastric ports, as you can see here. The great thing about it is that it actually specifies the gauge you should use or the French catheter you should use. However, the services do not have for 18 French size catheters, but a 14 gauge should be sufficient. So basically it's the same of how you actually measure this. So if you just measure the full King LT with your NG tube that you have to the end of it, that's approximately two to five centimeters, as you can see here. So that's a very easy measurement. And of course we should do that before you insert into the patient because then it becomes impossible to do it. So that's how you measure it. Then you just lube it up and you slowly slide it in and you can see that's about two to five centimeters at the end of the King LT. And it's the same measurements for ACPs when they're trying to go into the stomach to get rid of the air and gastric secretions. That's exactly how you'd measure it still from the umbilicus or the epigastrum to the ear to the top of the King LT, put pink tape. And once you reach your spot, you can just put pink tape around the area here to secure it. And you put on your suction pressures that correspond to the patient and their needs.